every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. In today's episode we will learn how to read out a temperature sensor and not just any temperature sensor but the TMP36. We will be showing Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, firstly uh, we will uh, read out the analog reading then we will have to convert this to voltage to be able to calculate our wanted degrees and thirdly we will calculate Celsius and Fahrenheit with our voltage. Now, on to our schematic. This time we will only create one circuit. Uh, the V plus is the 5 volts we will be connecting to it. The V out is the data pin. We will use this to get out analog reading and the GND, the ground, well, is the ground pin. Declaring. Like usual, we will start by declaring our temperature sensor. As you can see in this tutorial, the temperature sensor is connected to the analog zero pin. So we write. Now onto our setup. Firstly, we will set our temperature sensor to input. Like so. And lastly, let's start our serial monitor, monitor at a baud rate of 9600. And again, like usual, we write this to be able to debug in the serial monitor. Now, onto our void loop. Firstly, we will have to read out our temperature sensor like so. And to make it readable in the serial monitor, we will write. Now, let's convert our analog reading to voltage. We will need the voltage to calculate Celsius, Celsius and Fahrenheit. So we write. Now, what happened is that we had our analog reading. And since we are using 5 volts, we have to multiply our analog reading with 5. But wait, then we still have a huge number. Well, to correct the voltage, we have to divide this with 1023. And what is 23, you might ask? Well, uh, the analog reading that we are reading from a certain data pin is always between the number 0 and 1024, like bits. So that's why we have to divide it with 1023. These are some basic maths so I hope you guys understand this kind of calculation, because this is kind of important. Now, let's show our voltage in the serial monitor. And when this is done, let's put a delay of 2000 after this, and let's try and run this to see if it works or not. Ok, let's try and verify this. Ok, that went well. Now upload this. Now go to tools and to your serial monitor and as you will see the analog reading is 160 and the voltage is around 0.78 as long as it's not above 5 volts of course. Ok, this sounds, uh, this looks about right. Now on to our Celsius calculation. Let's try and convert our voltage to Celsius. We will create a new float called temp C and let's add in our calculation with our temp voltage. Now let's try and print this in the serial monitor. Ok, so Celsius is done. For our next calculation we won't be using our voltage like in the previous one, but our float temp C. So our, Celsi so our Celsius. And for this we again will create, will create a float, but this time called temp F. And now let's add in our calculation for Fahrenheit. Now that this is done, let's show this in the serial monitor. If you're wondering for what the uh, backslash n stands for, this will create an enter. Now, and to finish it off, let's add a delay of 3000 milliseconds this time. Now, let's go ahead and verify this. Great, now upload this, go to tools, serial monitor. 
again the analog rotating and now the current temperature is 28, uh, 28 degrees for me and 83 degrees Fahrenheit ok now let's check the weather this is around Brussels kind of a, a distance for me so yes it's correct now what to do now go to Amazon and buy yourself a temperature sensor wires and waste a lot of money or buy the original Arduino starter kit or the cheaper version link will be in the description there should be an affiliate link and a normal link the affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product this does not mean the price is higher for you so don't worry but if you want to support me definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and, and or the starter kit as well there will be a link to my patreon page containing all of the files that I used in today's video such as the fritzing scheme and the Arduino code link for that down below or on screen so that's it for today guys don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one goodbye world